Theo's vegetables have boiled and are ready for the next stage. So they're all cooked together. You want to cut them, cut them even sort of sizes so they do cook at the same yeah. sort of time. And if it's a bit under or a little bit over, it doesn't really matter too much because you, you're going to be roasting them. Yeah. Theo adds thyme to a bowl before adding the vegetables and then drizzling over olive oil and seasons with salt and pepper before transferring to an oven tray. In this goes. This takes about the same sort of temperature as the lamb, about 180 degrees, 20 minutes. You want it to sort of caramelise. Yes. Theo's lamb is ready to come out of the oven. That's been in now 25 minutes. You leave that to rest a bit now. And leave that to rest, because if you cut that straight away, yeah. you know what's going to happen. Yeah, the blood's going all the way. It's going to go woof, yeah, and you know, that, all that lovely yeah. juice from, on, from the, uh, the meat's going to completely go. Time for Theo to get started on his salsa verde. Bit of um, rocket, bit of mint. A bit of fresh marjoram. I love marjoram as well. OK, and of course, you must have some parsley. So take off the main parts of the stalk. What you need to do is you need to get the garlic yeah. and you want to crush it with salt, because what I don't want is to have little, any little bits of garlic yes. in there. Theo chops the garlic, then adds some salt. And just yeah. push down like a paste. So therefore, when you actually add, you know, the chopped herbs and the vinegar, it's going to be... Yeah. Completely cooked. You want to have that sort of raw garlic taste. Theo then adds capers and anchovy to the garlic paste. And just sort of mash it down. If you don't mash it down, you don't get a lovely... You get a sort of mouthful of anchovy. Yeah. And it won't go into the sauce, because it's, you know, this is the seasoning for the herbs. Theo chops the herbs and then puts everything into a bowl, finally adding mustard and olive oil. Mm. Delicious. A little bit more oil. And that's the salsa verde. And Francesco's pasta is now ready for the next stage. So what we're going to do is, uh, OK, something like this. And uh, there is no such a thing like doing fresh pasta on the wooden board, honestly. Well, because you, you need really... the grip, don't you? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look, look, look. They come up absolutely perfect. Uh, OK? Uh, I'll show you what we're going to achieve. We're going to have this kind of uh, small... Uh, like Grassini. Yeah, and then the small kind of, uh, you know, small pieces here. Mm -hmm. OK? You don't need to be that precise, because I'm not. And what we're basically going to do now, just going to roll the cavatelli like this, one by one, OK? Basically, you're going to roll them all. And now we're going to do our beautiful broccoli. Just going to, you know, do like kind of small half florets. So it okay? cooks the same time as the pasta? Yeah, we're just yeah, going to yeah. drop them together in the, in the pasta water there, which uh, is going to be always salt and boiling water. OK. OK. Get this together like that. Yeah. And what we're doing is just drop it inside, really. OK, maybe we'll cook for a few minutes now. Whilst the pasta and broccoli cook, Francesco turns his attention to his seafood. He fries slices of garlic in olive oil and then adds the longer steam, which have been split lengthways. Straight away, dash the white wine. OK? We'll just leave it a few minutes. <laughs> they will cook. OK? We don't want them to overcook. They're so tender, mm, no, they're so no, no, gentle. No. Just, you yeah, know, yeah. a little bit. Yes, OK, look at that. Now, as soon as the wine goes to evaporate, I don't like the acidity, then we add a little bit of anchovy water, OK? okay. Anchovy water is available online, or you could use a tinned anchovy. Look at the langoustine. They're just nice. OK, look at that. Just a bit. This one is a bit like... Uh, Thai fish sauce, OK? Just be very, very, very gentle with that. Francesco adds a little of the pasta cooking water to the longestine and covers to finish cooking. He drains his cavatelli and broccoli. Beautiful colours, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Now, to make sure the pasta doesn't stick, I'll add a little bit of olive oil here. OK? Once the longestines have finished cooking, he removes from the pan, reserving the sauce. Now, what are we going to do? Just to put the cavatelli and the broccoli together. And what's going to happen now, we're going to cook them through and we're going to absorb this beautiful water. Now, yeah. a bit of starch we're going to release from the pasta, OK? And we'll create this kind of lovely and uh, creamy, which I'll say, emulsione, emulsion together, OK? And Theo's vegetables are ready to come out of the oven. So my veg is really lovely and crispy. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at the colours on that. And then, so let's just get this lamb. So you've got, you know, this... Uh, no, it doesn't even any space on my dish, bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to put that back on the heat because you've got all this lovely juice set. Oh, yeah, you make it a little bit, yeah. Put that on the heat. 
and they're ready to serve. What we're gonna do with the last touch, we add some botarga. Yeah. Okay? Look. Okay, this is a basically uh, grey mallet roll. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And it's flavoring like anchovies, but more subtle. Bread crumbs, you just basically the spring on top. And a serve. A nice bit of salsa verde. Or oh, the lamb is cooked perfectly on the side. Right. There we go. Tio is uh, this is my uh, automat Italian dish, which is scalatelli with broccoli, the langoustin and uh, botarga. Well, this is my ultimate family sharing dish of roasted lamb with roasted squash, carrot, fennel, with a beautiful salsa there. Great, that looks beautiful. Thank you. Time for Francesco and Theo to find out which ultimate sharing dish for an Italian family feast is perfect. Let's have a look. Wow. Cavatelli with langoustine, broccoli and bottaga, one. Pan-fried lamb with salsa verde, roasted veg, two. You won. I won. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. Well that was well I really, done. really enjoyed no, it's today. Been great stay together as usual. Fantastic. Yeah, so thanks for the thanks for that. Lovely, lovely food. The judges were impressed by Francesco's handmade pasta and enjoyed the luxurious ingredients, but they loved the generosity of Theo's roasted lamb and salsa verde and thought it was the perfect sharing dish for any family table.